Today we're going to be looking at the OtterBox Defender updated for the iPhone S compared to the original Defender for the iPhone 4. Now if you've been following the iPhone scene you know that iPhone just announced the 4S which is basically the same exact design as the iPhone 4 with upgraded components. Now I went into my local AT&T store today to um, get some information about the uh, their cases. I, I know it's it's the same shape, but I I wanted to make sure that I had a a decent case that was going to fit properly. And so after talking to the guy, he told me they just got in the um, Defender that is updated for the iPhone S. Now, if you notice um, the packaging states it's for the iPhone 4. It makes no indication anywhere that it's for the iPhone S, 4S, but uh, I'm guessing this was done because, from my understanding, OtterBox uh, designed like three different versions of their Defender for um, different possible designs. Um, they took a look at the rumors and, and kind of pieced it together and designed different models so that they could have cases ready for day one. Um, which I thought was a good idea. Um, so I, I'm guessing if, if they had announced a completely different design that they could still um, sell this for the iPhone 4 um, because, like I said, supposedly any iPhone 4 case, or at least most of them, will fit the iPhone 4S. So anyway, let's take a look here. Starting with the front, I've got the, on the left here is the redesign, and on the right is the original. Uh, first thing, obviously, you see is the, the cutout at the top. Um, you've got one large cutout for the 4S, whereas you had the individual cutouts on the uh, iPhone 4. Um, there is no plastic um, protection on this whereas you had the plastic protection on the front facing camera as well as the proximity sensor which I, I, I kind of prefer the the empty because it, as you can see the the new redesign is, is tapered and it's going to be a lot easier to clean um, these were the original ones were a, a pain with that uh, covering in the small openings there you know, I had to use like a Q-tip and really do some microsurgery there to get that clean, and I didn't really like it. But I I think I like this a lot better. Okay, moving down, everything else looks pretty much the same. On the side here, the other difference you'll notice the where the mute switch cutout is. It is a little bit bigger on. The, the redesign, I don't know if you can pick that out here in this video, but um, there you go. You can see it's a little bit bigger. I had heard there was an adjustment made to the, the mute switch on the iPhone 4S um, and as well as the newer iPhone 4 for Verizon that was released a while ago. Um, so I that makes room for that adjustment just a little bit bigger everything else seems to be about the same on the inside moving on to the back plate once again the left is the redesigned for the 4S and the right is the original uh, right away you can see the material on the inside is different the original had a has like a felt type velvet feel where is the redesign it's more of like a feels like a cheaper type of like foam there's definitely a little more give there I think that that'll be good for absorbing shock maybe but uh, it just feels a little bit cheaper and I was kind of surprised that this padding here on the redesign does not go all the way around to the top like the, the felt does here um, it makes me wonder if the padding here and on here might give it some play 
at the top if you if you squeeze it. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you'll also notice the the cutout is uh, again one large cutout instead of the little keyhole design, which I'm guessing this larger cutout will be much easier to clean. Um, it was always a pain, you know, to again with the Q-tip and the surgery there to get down in there and clean all the gunk out of there. Um, and also, I never had a problem with the flash bleeding into my pictures, um, like regularly. Occasionally, I would come across an issue, but like with with the bigger cutout, that's that's completely eliminated. There's no way that there's going to be any type of flash bleeding into the picture. Uh, the apple cutout appears to be unchanged. Everything else looks to be unchanged. Okay, moving on to the silicone or the rubber, whatever you want to call it, which I consider the the biggest difference. I don't know if you can tell on this video, but the redesign on the left here is a lot. Um, I wouldn't say a lot, but significantly lighter, not as dark as the original. I'm guessing that they changed the material. Um, I, I know on the original Defender, the silicone for the different colors had a different feel to it The uh, in, in order to get the, the deep black color that they got on the original. The formula was a little bit different. I know it had a different feel. And the redesign feels a lot more thicker and a lot more firmer. I like it a lot better. You see, if, if you can tell, uh, um, wiggling it, there's not much play here, whereas the original just flops all around and it's really loose. I guess there was a complaint that on the original, because it was so loose, some people were ripping them out. I don't see that being a problem on, on the redesign here. It feels a lot better, too. Um, it feels less sticky than the original did. Um, the test I do is rubbing it across the flat surface like this table. It sticks. It doesn't slide at all. Whereas the, the redesign you know, slides much easier. I think that's going to make it a lot nicer for going in and out of the pocket and as well um, won't be as bad as, at collecting dirt and lint. It, uh, it never really was that much of a problem for me, uh, except certain kinds of, like, fabric lint. It would really pick up on the original. I don't see that happening on the redesign. It feels a lot better. It's a lot smoother. Overall, I, I definitely like the um, redesigned look, despite it being a little lighter in tone. As far as the individual parts of the silicone. It looks like the, uh, yeah, again, the mute switch cover. The hole is a little bigger, I think. And uh, here we go. The, the volume buttons seem a little, a little more solid. See the top here. Pretty close to the same. Again, the big change is the material, which I think definitely a good call. Yeah, so, okay. Overall, I'm pleased with the new redesign. Um, I've always been a big fan of OtterBox products, and I, I feel very safe and secure when um, they're protecting my device. I'm very protective of my electronics, and um, even though I'm not a very clumsy person, I, it just feels good to know that I could just whip it around and, you know, chuck it on the ground, and it, nothing really that bad is going to happen to it. So, yeah, can't wait till the iPhone 4S comes to my door on October 14th, hopefully before I go to work.
And there we go. Comparison between the redesigned iPhone 4S OtterBox Defender and the original Defender.